Now, on this same theme, I've got to talk about Adam Bant because they are so reckless, the Greens. He's actually urging Australians, in order to stop coal and gas, to get involved in more protests. And not just ordinary protests, but this sort of civil action where they try and block coal trains or block ships arriving, block mm. harbour bridges and the like. Here's Adam Bant. The more new coal and gas projects that Labor opens the more civil disobedience there's going to be. We just do not have time left in the climate crisis to be opening new coal and gas projects. Adam Bant there. Now, this is so irresponsible for a lawmaker, isn't it, Susie? When he says civil disobedience, he means disrespecting the rights of other people to go about their lives or earn their wage because of your virtue signalling. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Is this man the leader of a mainstream political party or is he an undergrad in the uni bar no. <laughs> having had a few pints of lager? I mean, come on. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that lefty, you know, art students, third-year art students, you know, talk about when they've had a big night on the piss. I mean, this is absurd. I mean, this man is basically saying, oh, join me and turn up and blockade the um, delivery of coal um, in Newcastle harbour. I mean, he's saying, oh, we should turn up to the CEO of Woodside and scare the her private residents and scare the bejesus out of her children. I mean, this is not civil disobedience. This is complete idiocy. And it's embarrassing that it's coming from an elected MP. Yeah, it is a joke. A partner in government, effectively, with Labor through the Senate. And, uh, mm. Stephen, uh, interesting, he talks about civil, dis civil disobedience to try and block two of our largest export industries. Where were the Greens when the police in Melbourne were firing rubber bullets at protesters during yeah. COVID? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, 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 did you ever think back in the days of Bob Brown and Christine Milne that we'd think that the Greens could even get even more loopy and loony than they are? <laughs> I mean, somebody needs to tell, tell Adam Band that the business of government is proper adult business and it's not a high school debating competition. I mean, even the way he speaks with that staccato um, tone that he uses. But, I mean, this, is, this has always been the MO of the Greens. They know they're not a fair income party of government. They, they float around the edges and influence a Labor government, but they know they'll never have to make the decisions themselves. So they can come up with all this loopy, ridiculous stuff that affects everybody else's lives while the reality is that they'd be happy living in their humpies out in the outskirts of Byron Bay, but the rest of us actually <laughs> want to live in houses and be able to watch Sky News or turn the heater on or, or sleep comfortably and not freeze to death in the dark. I mean, who are these people? 